probably shouldn't be filming and driving, but we are. Headed out the night before the hunt on Ellie's hunt. She's got a general Utah tag. We're gonna go see if we can't turn up a buck. It's uh, snowed last night, so that usually means pretty good deer hunting. It'll be easy to see. Ellie's got limited time, maybe a couple nights here and there, but she can for sure hunt three solid days, maybe two. We'll see what happens. She's got dance, all the things. I do have a tag. I'm gonna try and get out in the week, days, but I don't know how that'll go. So we're headed out tonight. So hopefully we can turn up a buck and hopefully we can find a good one and get it done in the morning. But most of the time that never happens. So how many times, did, how many days were we on your other hunt? Four. Four, four or five. Yeah. That was on a good unit. This is a general unit, so. Here we go, let's go find something. Opening morning, how's it looking? Not good. We have not seen a single deer. We didn't see a deer last, well, we didn't see a deer once we got to where we were going yesterday. And we went exactly right back there. <laughs> yep, so, stupid fog. The fog has been bad, but we're gonna make the best out of tomorrow morning. At least we're in the nice warm truck mm -hmm. so far, but. Dad's out glassing, and hopefully we can turn up a decent deer. What are we thinking, a four point? Bigger than the Colorado. Bigger than the Colorado deer, I like it. We haven't seen that many people this morning, but there's a few people out. Running a lot of people at the gas station. So hopefully we can go kill a deer. Let's go do it. Okay, good morning so far. It was a rough, slow start, but we ended up starting to see some bucks finally. Uh, the fog cleared, and guess what? We saw deer. <laughs> and the fog's back. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, out of all the windows, we are fogged in for now. Um, we're overlooking the spot that we saw a few bucks just 20 minutes ago on the backside, so. Hopefully once this fog lifts we can see some, but for now we're going to have some snacks and hopefully find a deer, a shooter. Had a 
change of plans, had a buddy hit us up, tell us about a buck. Got Elliot back there sleeping. So we're gonna go try and make a move on this deer. Second morning, Ellie's General Susan Deer Hunt. Boom. Here's the man washing the windows because we got muddy yesterday. Saw bucks yesterday, had an opportunity, Ellie passed a deer. <laughs> Tell us what happened then. Well, we went to go see these deer, and then they were good, and then we just never got the gun out to shoot them, so. We didn't see one big enough. Ellie's so goal is to shoot one bigger than Colorado. And the one we saw was about besides the one she shot in Colorado. So, we didn't shoot it. But, probably if she saw it today, she'd probably tip it over. But it was an old deer, so that was good. Um, so hopefully today is the day. And Ellie can get her stuff done she needs to before school on Tuesday. Let's go find a deer. Okay, so yesterday we left and we left at like six and then we went to this place up the mountain and it was um, really snowy. Very snowy. And really foggy and you couldn't see anything and then the fog went away and we saw a whole bunch of deer but like none shooters so we drove around over to another place and just like kind of looked around and then uh one of our buddies called mike. us mike mike shot us a text oh, he man. sent us a text and he's like hey there's some good deer so we went and sat out and waited for them to come we sat for like, <laughs> like three hours and <laughs> well they finally start to come out and the other these people and razors come and they scare them away 
So now we're back. We're looking for about that same size of deer, maybe a little better, and it's going down today if we do, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go. And hopefully we'll eat today. Yeah. We didn't eat anything yesterday. No, no lunch yesterday. Long day, all day in the truck. It's cold, but mm -hmm. here we go. Okay, we're headed up to go look for some deer in a spot we were last night. Tensions got high last night. Got mom with us tonight. And last night, but last night was a uh, high tension. Sucked ass. <laughs> I didn't want to video because everybody was on age. Yeah. But tonight we're going to video, so here we go. Maybe if I could. Okay. We just turned up a buck. We're headed over. We got the whole crew. Turned around, we're gonna go see if we can't get to it. Um, hopefully we can get it killed. If not, that's okay. But I think Ellie's pretty antsy, so let's go get it. Oh, really? Now it's time for the fun part. Mm -hmm. So it's the one, two, third day? Third, yeah. Third day. General season rifle hunt. Southern Utah. Mm. <coughs> We've been running all over the unit. Uh, what else? <laughs> We've seen a couple decent bucks. Had a buddy call us one day. Had some bucks bedded and we went over there and that didn't work out. What was your weather like the first day? Oh, snow Snowy. and fog. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't see anything. Couldn't see anything. Lots of fog. We spent half a day in the fog. <coughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, Mike. Oh, oh, that's what I said, huh? Mm-hmm. And then <coughs> we ended up driving home that night, and then came. Was that last yesterday? Or two days ago. Anyway, then we came yesterday morning, and then came back yesterday night. Saw a couple of Oh, sorry. Deer. Just took our picture. <laughs> Keep seen going. a couple deer. We seen some deer last night. Uh, one decent buck we, we possibly maybe should have shot. 
He was like 100, 150 yards away maybe. And he stood there and looked at us for a while. A nice three point. <clears throat> so we went back there today, just thick, thick mahogany stuff. And Christian looked up on this hill we're on right now and seen a good buck. So we jumped in the truck, drove around the top of the canyon, walked over the hill, seen two or three little bucks, uh, and thought maybe one of them was the buck because it was probably a mile or two away that Christian had seen the deer. So we just kind of poked down the hill, working our way through the sagebrush and some does, I guess, skirted across the field in front of us, or the field, the sagebrush in front of us. And uh, this buck was following them. Well, first though, too, we came up on those two little bucks at like 60 yards yeah. in front of us. And I leaned back to Ellie and what did I tell you? <laughs> you might have to shoot standing up. Okay, and now? And so then, then like I said, probably six does, and then this buck was following them, and I'm pretty sure it's the same deer, because it's about the same spot. <clears throat> we bumped some does coming in, and it could have been them. Anyways, Ellie shot free hand, probably, <laughs> what was that, 120, 120 130 yards, probably, and hit him. One shot, tipped him over, here he is. I don't know. Don't know exactly what he is. <laughs> it's a, a good wider, buck, but a dang good heavy. He's heavy. Carries his mask good out through his beams. What else? That's Tickle. It. We had fun, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show us his head. Show oh. us his head. Yeah, like. Turn him. Yep. <laughs> Go back the other way. Back this way. Dang, that's a solid buck. Congrats, Ellie, on an awesome hunt. I'm glad we all could be here. Dang good general season deer. Ellie's got dance at 5 o'clock in the morning and it's 9 o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> but good shooting. Good time. Really good shooting. Proud of her. <laughs> <laughs>